Steve Green, born 1960, Solihull, England, is a former newspaper reporter, 1978-84, turned freelance journalist who has also written short fiction and poetry. He is an active member of the science fiction press and fan community. Topic journalism and other writings Subsequent to his career as a newspaper reporter initially on the Walsall Observer, later on the Solihull News, Green has contributed to such magazines as The Dark Side for which he wrote 51 installments of the review column Fanzine Focus, Interzone interviewing the comics writer and editor Stan Lee and the author, screenwriter Peter Atkins, Fantasia and SFX, as well as being an occasional contributor to the 1990s BBC Radio 5 series the Way Out. He wrote an online column on real ale and the British pub industry for the Sunday Mercury in the late 2000s and returned to the dark side as a movie reviewer in 2015. With Martin Tudor, he was also the co-editor, publisher of the science fiction journal Critical Wave, from its launch in October 1987 to its financial heat death in mid-1996. A new, online edition was announced in September 2008, with the same editorial team. The first issue of this new series was released in November 2008, but a second has yet to appear. In addition to having several of his own short stories published, including Cracking in the Anthology of Fantasy and the Supernatural, plus a large number of poems, Green appears as a supporting character in both David Langford's comic novel The Leaky Establishment and Joel Lane's novella The Witnesses Are Gone the latter also features his late wife, Anne Green. During the mid-1990s, Green was a regular columnist for both the Seattle Freesheet Mansplat, and the focal point American fanzine Apparatchik examples Smiley Face. His Apparatchik column, Fanish Memory Syndrome, was relaunched in the Hugo Award-nominated U.S. fanzine The Drink Tank in September 2007. Selected examples of this writing can be found on his professional blog The Shadow Library. Related activities Green joined the Birmingham Science Fiction Group in February 1977 and has held several posts with that organization, including editor of its monthly newsletter. He also became a member of the British Science Fiction Association, eventually taking over the club's column, Life on Mars, for its newsletter Matrix. Later, he collaborated with artist Kevin Clark on a short-lived comic strip for Matrix, The Tavern at the End of Time. He was chair of the British Science Fiction Conventions Novacon 14 Novacon 37 2007, and Novacon 44 2014. He also ran the Fan Lounge at Intervention, the 1997 EasterCon. Other roles include, Fantasy Amateur Press Association Vice President, 2005–07, and President-elect in 2009 as the post was dissolved in the same ballot. Green never took office, but was briefly listed in official publications as, "...President Emeritus", administrator of the Nova Awards for British fanzines, presented annually at Novacon, 2002–09 he reassumed the role in late 2010. Former administrator of the Delta Film Award, presented annually at Manchester's Festival of Fantastic Films until 2014. In November 2008, Green announced himself as a candidate for the Transatlantic Fan Fund. He won and subsequently attended the 2009 World SF Convention, Anticipation, before travelling across Canada and the United States. He is currently working on a series of articles about his trip and acted as European TAF administrator for two years, a requirement of the post. He was a regular guest speaker at the Exeter University Convention Microcon, 2008 10, 2012 13, and 2015, the final year it was held. Joel Lane's 2009 short story collection The Terrible Changes is dedicated to Green and to the memory of his late wife, Anne. He is currently a director of the UK publishing imprint Rose of Aben. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. 
Green married fellow science fiction fan Anne Thomas born 1961, Merthyr Tydville, Wales in December 1983. She died in July 2008, aged 46, following a brief diabetes-related illness. <laughs>